Frank is um, very driven, very ambitious, very disciplined, very uh, um, keen on, you know, very, very driven. Frank starts as this, uh, as Howard's driver, and then they slowly develop this um, kinship because Howard is very, <clears throat> very um, slow to trust people. But he's, Frank slowly earns his confidence, and Howard eventually learns to trust Frank, which gives Frank sort of a, a very privileged position within the company. The movie is, is a love story uh, around three people. One is Howard Hughes, one is his driver and assistant, and one is a contract actress. And it's a love triangle between them. So Frank uh, is assigned to drive Marla and then meets her and slowly, because they're both thrust into this kind of crazy situation that Howard Hughes creates where there's all these strange rules and there's all these... Uh, different limit there's these things you can't do and there's things you have to do and because they're both kind of lost in this and trying to find their way they strike up this sort of kinship with each other and and bond that eventually leads to something i think more and more romantic so some of the rules that that Howard Hughes which are based on real things would be that a driver's not really uh, you're, the dri none of the drivers are allowed to talk to any of the people they're driving about Howard Hughes. So they can't divulge any information. A driver's definitely not allowed to date um, any of the contract actresses, which I think would be uh, something that they that would happen a lot and they'd have to protect against. Um, and, um, and then sort of in the story, there's all these hygienic kind of rules that are somewhat in the movie and somewhat not in the movie, but about, you know, certain linen would have, like tablecloths would have to be positioned in a certain way and um, he he ate banana nut ice cream so there's a whole thing about constantly having banana nut ice cream on call so it's all these different kind of eccentricities that everybody goes a little crazy trying to keep up with. Well I grew up watching a lot of older movies and so Warren is definitely somebody whose films I'd seen and who I was very aware of and um, and a fan of and then I met with Warren for the first time when I was 19, um, and I'd done my first movie, and I went on and had like five years of meetings with Warren um, about this movie, and just kind of developed this friendship with him, um, and sort of apprenticeship, and would just hang out and talk about all the movies he made and all the kind of stories, and get all this kind of wisdom from him about um, this, you know, this incredible background he has. I mean, the thing with Warren is that he's been around he kind of was around for the very tail end of the golden age of Hollywood and then transitioned that into sort of the new Hollywood in the 70s and was in the center of that. And so he has this incredibly unique perspective on not only film now, which he's incredibly um, in tune with and, and aware of, but also the entire history. Like he was, a, he was really a central figure in a lot of the history of film in the last 40 years. So... There's an amazing amount of wisdom and an amazing amount of insight and um, and just lessons to be learned that I got from him over this sort of five-year audition process that I had with him. It was really interesting for me to see him acting and directing at the same time. Warren's incredibly... Um, he's very specific. He, he, there isn't a detail that he will not spend time really trying to understand and make work. And... Um, he takes his time in every aspect of filmmaking. He um, is incredibly involved with all the kind of... He, he's, he's very, very involved with all of the scenes and really um, works with the actors and just has a, has a sort of... He's perceptive about what's going on in the scene as far as the acting goes in a way that is, is kind of astounding. I think because he's an actor, he has this insight into what how actors work and how a scene might work and just moment to moment stuff that um, someone who hasn't been in front of the camera wouldn't necessarily have, if that makes sense. When you spend time with him, and this was what was so wonderful, you get this whole education because he loves to sit there and, and 
tell you about these stories. He loves to he loves to go into this history and he loves to share this kind of wisdom with people, which is so generous of him. So I got to spend so much time with him where we'd sit. I mean, my first meeting I ever had with him was for four and a half hours. And then I think the longest one was like maybe nine hours. And you just sit and kind of talk about um, film and you talk about and life, but but all around film. And um, and that experience was so invaluable. At a certain point, I wasn't sure what was going to happen with the movie, and I just kind of said, well, I'm, this is an invaluable kind of film school for me. So, um, you know, I'm happy to continue doing that. And, and then over the course of that, developed really a close relationship with him. Lily, I thought, was wonderful. She, she really dedicated herself to the role. She worked really hard, and she did, I think, a wonderful job in the film. And I also, I also think she's just really well suited for the role. She just has a, she has a great magnetism, and she's very sweet and very strong, and very kind of um, very mature, and yet and yet with a kind of innocent quality at the same time. She's yeah, I thought she was wonderful. I think this is true of a lot of really great comedies. Is that um, it feels like the, the what ends up being funny in the movie comes very much out of the truth of uh, the situation that everybody's in, and the and the humor that Howard Hughes in his kind of craziness, uh, how funny Howard Hughes's madness can be. I remember uh, Warren saying something about that early on about like that he thought that people didn't understand how funny Howard Hughes was or how funny all this eccentricity was. And so I think so much of the um, of the comedy of the film comes out of all the madness that Howard creates for these people. Um, and so because of that, you don't have to be that conscious of it. I think when you put on the clothes of that time, it definitely does something for you. You don't even realize it so much when you're watching it, but they fit differently, they look differently, and they make you feel differently. The suits are a lot bigger. Um, and and Albert has such a, I mean, Albert did Bugsy with Warren. Albert has such, has done so many great films and is such a master at what he does that when he goes in to create that look, you just feel, you know, he, it really adds something that's hard to describe to to the environment. It makes you feel like you're really within that environment. I remember once when we were shooting, we were shooting at the Beverly Hills Hotel um, and we were on, I think it's Linden, which or Cannon or something, next to the hotel. And they said, okay, clear and like whatever. And they get ready for the shot and they say action. And I looked around and I realized like, if it was 1959, I, this is what I would see. You know, like everything that I'm seeing w could have been there. And um, there wasn't one contemporary thing anywhere that you looked. And every single detail was so true to that time and so beautiful that it really was like a fully comprehensive kind of make-believe experience. And um, everybody's in the, in, the, in the clothing. All the cars look that way. Every, every person walking way in the distance is dressed in that exact same way. So it was, it's a pretty, uh, pretty fun, uh, imaginative kind of way to be. I think what's really great about the movie is that it's 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 really fun um almost all the way through and then it's I think surprisingly moving. You know, I think it's a very very moving love story at its core, a very moving story about a girl um learning more about the world and growing up and I think my r character's relationship with Howard there's a lot of there's a lot of very um there's a lot of very personal emotional content that I think that I think Warren really brings from his personal experience in his life in addition to his research and relationship to to the to the figure of Howard Hughes um, and I think it has a lot of intelligence it has a lot of wit and I also think it's also on on some level works as just like a fun old Hollywood romp at the same time as having all these other layers and I think that's a tribute to both Warren's depth, but also Warren's ability to be an entertainer. And I think that the movie um, is an expression of both sides of him in that way. Hey, did you know that Walt Disney refused to allow Alfred Hitchcock to film at Disney in the early 1960s because he made that disgusting movie Psycho? Hmm. For this and more movie facts, click on more videos or click on the playlist for more trailers.